All right. Well, welcome back to the Western Front. Got to actually load up the game. So I decided to click record before the game was even started. Genius. So last time, last time it was probably agony if you were watching it because I was absolutely killing myself about leaving this hole up near uh, the Lucky Lucky. And I was thinking about it a little bit more. And I really think that I'm overall my strategy in this campaign is going to be don't leave a man behind. So because I can't move this border guard unit, I'm not going to leave him alone to just get slaughtered by a panzer division. Now, he might still get killed. He's only got 1,900 men left. And he's dog-tired. But at the same time, I, I want him to, to go out fighting with a little bit of support. So I'm not going to move anyone over. And that's that. If I find some group that's not being used and they can actually move up there, I doubt it. But if I theoretically could do that, then I would. All right. So now what we need to look at is some issues around uh, what we're going to call the Western Front Northern Region. Um, and hopefully we'll get all the way down to the Southwestern Front this time. We'll see. But we're going to start out uh, kind of from where we left off. So we had pretty much set up the defense of, or such as it is, the defense of Aleki Luki. We fully expect the Nazis to be able to come possibly over this river into these woods here. That's worst case scenario, in which case our infantry is going to have to somehow encircle them and push them out. But I'd rather hold to the ground that we have here simply because it's slightly more defensible. And and in the scheme of things, I'd rather have them spread out than have us spread out, because we're weaker. So I'm, I'm going to leave these guys as is, because um, we already went through all of them. Uh, I'm pretty confident in the organization here. Overall, um, they're, they're pretty well set up. And they're all getting supply. I'll bump this guy up to a high. Because we really want to give the north as much supply as we can get. So then the next spot we want to look at is this land bridge area. And I guess the question is here, is it worth pulling back a hex across the board? Or should I try to hold ground? Because he only has eight combat prep points. I mean, this guy has 12, so it's not that much better. Um, but is it worth pulling back a little bit to try and get more defensible terrain, or should I just keep it as is? Um, I do think that I'll pull this guy back across the river. Question is which hex? Doesn't, I don't think it really matters. They're both clear, so neither really gives you a bonus. Um, I guess I'm a, I'm a little concerned about about this whole area here because I really want the Western Front to be able to move up to Smolensk. At the same time, I guess he's supporting quite a few units down in the south. I'm in I'm probably going to reassign all those guys. Um, and, and possibly this, I'll reassign up to whoever this purple guy is. Oral. Aurel. Um, but I think what we want is we want the Western Front to move north. And so to facilitate that, I think we'll just put them in Smolensk. I mean, that's where he's most needed, so. Um, 
and then we'll reassign these two guys to whatever rifle corps is here, 44 rifles. I'm definitely a l more than a little concerned at how weak they are. So let's just bolster them. Let's just stick that guy there. I mean, overall, I, I liked how I set up here. I mean, I like being in the woods in general. Um, I think I'm going to stick this guy on the other side of Mogilev just because he's still refitting. I'll probably stick him with his core commander. I want to make sure this guy's getting some supply because he's got some pretty battered units under his command. It's a pretty weak rifle division, this 100th Rifles, and we've got a pretty strong division there. So what we're going to do is we're just going to back him off a little bit. Um, I'm going to back him off onto the other side of that river. We're going to do the same thing with him. And we're just going to double stack them in hopes that perhaps they, their combined might will be better. Seventeenth motorized core. All that it has is that one unit, so this is not a terribly important core. But I, I mean, ultimately, we probably want to drop them a little bit further south because it is motorized or mechanized, rather. Um, so that'll probably be that strategy there. So they're both unready. This guy's on refit. I'm just going to try to give the airborne brigades. Some stacking potential here. So at least we got a little bit of a area of strength. And then the fourth airborne core can maybe go up to this. Might be out of supply actually up there. Well, that's not too bad there. Let's see if oh, he cannot get all the way there. That's okay. I don't mind having this, this kind of setup here because we're not really facing a immediate threat. We do want to start... I really don't even want to stand in front of this infantry division. That's a full strength infantry division.
And this is not a full strength rifle division. So where should I set my defensive line here? Maybe, maybe along this minor river. That might work better. Because ultimately we have to pull back a good amount. So the question is, what can I move where? This guy's going all the way back to that. Hmm. Crazy. I mean, at the same time, I do almost want him to fight. If he was not so weak, I would say, go go wild, kid. Fight, fight away. But he's got nothing. I mean, he's not going to hold off against this infantry division. Why does this guy have just no movement? Because these guys had all their shit trapped in the pocket. Because eventually I want this guy to come come up more because I'm going to kind of shift the whole line north so let's try to get him up back up in this direction just trying to think ahead a little bit here and the same with both of these guys we want them heading back up I'm figuring that's going to be a kind of a useless spot. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get any divisions back that way. Maybe it is best to just try to hold that river line. I don't know. How bad off is this? 62? I mean, it could be worse. Could definitely be worse. This one's completely depleted. Can I merge it? No. I don't understand how this even exists on the map. Right? It's just zero to zero. Oh, it's because it's routed. Well, let's just stick them up there. We're going to fight for this. Who is commanding these guys? 28th Rifle Corps. Who's the 31st Rifles? This guy. Well, at least he goes to the right front. Yeah, I'm kind of willing to let the dice roll where they may on this. That's not ideal, but... I just want to see what happens. I feel like this is a really good location. But at the same time, these guys are kind of holding the line in very important territory here.
All right, that doesn't look too bad. All right, we'll come back up here a little bit. I know we stacked those guys the best we could. The same here. I think I intended to bring this rifle cord down a little ways. Get him on the other side of the river just to be safe. So what is in this hex? This is a swamp hex. Not throwing up a whole lot of defense, that's for damn sure. So maybe we'll stick him with the security division. We'll just try to move. Maybe something like that. At least those guys are throwing off a bit of a zone of control now. And we can bring these guys in as reserve. Realize I'm marching these poor guys all over God's green earth, but unfortunately, it's got to be done. And then hopefully, this this guy will be slowed sufficiently by our interdiction campaign that he doesn't get as much done as he's expecting. I'm just throwing some bullets at those guys just to slow them down a little bit. 
seem like a little bit more of a threat. This is just the, the dwindling of the pocket, though, realistically. Just trying to become a pain. The longer these guys hold out, the better. And I like that. Got a little bit of rail line control here. Dream here is to be. Oh my god, I could get it up there. That's amazing. Well, we seem to have found our way back down to the, the southern front somehow. And I guess kind of what I'm getting at here is I'm expecting this to get hit hard next turn by that infantry division and hopefully fall back. But if they don't, I'm going to have to manually start moving them back basically to this rail. That's going to be our next line. But unfortunately, they're going to be late because by then this 16th Panzer Division is probably going to be Halfway to Zithamir. Yeah. So that might be a bit of a problem. So let's see what we can do about that. So we know they're strong. And we know we've got... Not much terrain to work with, but we got some rivers, got some hills. So we probably want to put the infantry on the hills. We're going to want to put you on the other side of this river because you're now weak. We'll stack you with these unready divisions. We had this tank unit on reserve last time. So he's going to be stronger. This guy is now unready, so he's weak. He's not going to throw out his own control. Neither is this. So if we put him here, their combined might will hopefully do the job. Okay, we'll start pulling you back. Way back, probably. So you can fall all the way back to Kev. He's not going to do much good on the front. This guy was on reserve, so we can fall him back. And we're going to put him back onto reserve. Do 
going to move our headquarters to Viniesta. Uh, maybe not this guy. But definitely these infantry are going to have to pull back. Start getting these guys onto the hills up here. This will be our reserve. They're pretty weak. I hope that's in range. It is not. That definitely is, though. We really want to make him hit across the river if we can. There's the 15th Motorized Corps at... God, I say that all the time. It's mechanized. MC means mechanized. I can get that through my thick skull. I'm sure it's driving people nuts if you're paying attention. Uh... What is the terrain here? This is just clear. Clear. All right, let's just pull the headquarters back a little bit and see what that does. I'm just thinking that the city might be more defensible. Might be the only defensible place. Oh, it's not even a, counted as a city. That's the problem. Son of a bitch. All right, we'll just fight in the woods outside of town. Screw it. Move you farther north up here. This thing's depleted. Um, would he be in range at Zithomir? Range there. Still in range. Still in range. Okay. That's kind of where I want him. Get him pretty far back, you know. How about this? Okay. Get them on that side of the river. I'm happy with that. Kind of happy where he is there. I want to pull 10,146 rifles. Pull them down because their core is right here. I'm going to pull this guy back to the town. He's on reserve, but they smash right through this area here, we're kind of screwed. I have to 
prefer if he could stay out of the fight. But if he has to fight, he might as well fight in a good spot. Might as well get the anti-tank guys in there. Since we know it's tanks. What do we have for good frontline troops? Mechanized divisions. And then I want as many people down here on reserve as possible. So reserve. 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 He's unready. Reserve. Reserve. So all of these guys could theoretically get committed. Tank divisions, put you there. Is that stay in range? Yes, beautiful. I feel like that's a pretty strong defense. The only thing is we want this 26 army guy to be somewhere else. Probably at Zithamir. Okay, that looks pretty good. This does not look pretty good. We'll just get you back towards Kiev. You've done your part. So now what can I put in this big old gap down here? where there is just no defensible terrain. I guess we have to play around our four units there. I won't do the mechanized division yet. Do a rifle core. What I'd like to do with this mechanized guy is to move him here and to use him as reserve because he'll be good on the defense and then to stack a bunch of infantry divisions up there.
I do wish I could slow them down in some way this in this area here. Because this is this is my big concern that he can just walk straight. And there's no terrain to stop him. So where there's not terrain, we have to put Soviets. Okay, so you're going to bar. Viniesta in range. I think it is one, two, three. Yeah, it should be. This guy's going to need to be reassigned. That's interesting. That is the like one defensible terrain feature here, this one little hill. So we're going to use that a lot of it. Whatever we have to put up there is going up there. So ready, you better be ready, mate. You're gonna get your shit rocked. Oh, damn, I didn't mean to move them all the way there. I meant to move them on top of that. It's okay. Let's stick them here for now, just to keep this open.
completely forget how to unattach them. I know it costs an AP, but I uh, don't remember really don't remember how to do it. Might as well stick you on reserve, honestly. Now let's come back to these guys briefly. See if there's a more useful place we can put them. I don't think so. I think that's about as good as we can do. That's a really good spot for him. Very interested in that. Just for the scouting purposes. Kind of want to hit him again. here mountain division you can hang out with your buddy there all right cool Start our retreat from the south. What is this? I think I'll sit there. It's a fort, right? A ferry. Interesting. Okay. We get, we're going to have to guard that. I want to move my mechanized back. Don't want to get them killed if we don't have to. Because they're ultimately going to have to do a lot of the fighting here. Stick them here, stick them here. Protect them from the mean tanks. Oh, jeez, they still have a guy here. Um, we don't want him to get trapped, so let's just move him all the way up. So we're just kind of defending Odessa here. the best of our abilities. Because eventually, I believe these guys are probably going to be our Crimean defense force. The southern front. Okay. Mountain division. Oh look, there's some mountains for you to set on. Ooh, this one, I think. Perfect. You can be reserve. Whatever the hell you are. There's just no good place, no safe place to put him. That's for sure, because this area is not safe from either side. So 
He's going to have to be in a little bit of danger. I hate to see it. Would like to get a decently strong rifle division around here somewhere, so I'll put him on a refit, I guess. What do we have in this town? A rifle Corps that's got a lot of guys under it. A lot of important guys. So let's give him a bit of a bodyguard. This can be our reserve division. It's decently strong. Oh. Okay. I don't know how you ended up way down here, but... Oh, it's because I, I moved those guys up earlier. That's right. And didn't move their headquarters. I'm going to destroy this base. I wish I hadn't spread these guys out so much. I didn't realize that none of these were real divisions. I feel like that's a better place anyways. Just immediately fall back there. Probably going to want to commit you eventually to one of these fights, but not right now. Ooh, you can actually march all the way to the front. Beautiful. Stick them on reserve anyways. We'll deal the, do the best to, we can to quickly dig in. Other airborne units could we send up to the fight? This thing is not in bad shape, actually. All right, I feel like that can work. Oh, he's got no units. Ooh, that could get ugly. 
So I'll give you this. And I hope nothing comes. Otherwise, I think we reorganized pretty well down here. All right, so now let's go through our logistics. We're going to leave that where it is. That was just a suicide mission, just to take those tiles away from them. Maybe I'll need a depot here. Who's under him? I really like the idea of keeping some Units actually dug in around Leningrad. Why is this a two? This doesn't need any supply. Why is Leningrad a two? Places don't need supply yet. Crank them up when they get to that point, but they don't need it yet. I just I know for a fact that these the supply issue is going to be bad. How's Mogolov doing in terms of their? Hmm, they actually have some factories and stuff. I don't know. I'm tempted to just not do any more depots. It's like, where could I put a depot that's not immediately going to get overrun? Here, maybe? I guess here. Well, we know we want Viniesta to be a four now. I guess these guys are kind of far from a depot, so maybe I do need one. It's, it's, it feels stupid putting one down, but I guess I'll slap one down here. I can't even do that. Because none of this is connected. Okay, that might change our situation then. We might need to get as far as we can. Anyone who can still move needs to move. We'll stick that as a depot. All right, now let's go back down through the areas that we think are going to be in contact. So we are 100% sure that this area is going to be in contact. So let's make sure that these guys have some support units 
assigned to them. Some good support units. More artillery, the better. Give them a little bit of everything. Sure, he's getting everything he needs. Same with you. Make sure you're getting everything you need because you're going to have to fight like the Dickens. him up who else is going to be doing a lot of fighting down here pretty much all of you right we'll just get some of this equipment into the fight He's already got his stuff. Oops, didn't mean to give him that one, whatever. Don't really care. He got some weak ones, but um, we'll move him up to a two. Some of this will go back up to Stavka, but that's okay. It'll be there for a turn at least. This is actually one of my favorite things is going through and assigning equipment to people. You definitely need some stuff. Some howitzers. What do I have left for core artillery? Nothing great. 
kind of coming to the end of the line here. Some core artillery. Ultimately, what I want to get is kind of four artillery pieces for every important unit. At least at, at the core level, I would like four. I don't know if that's the best, but I I like I like the idea that that they'll have enough to go around because I ideally you would have four divisions so they each have kind of a divisional artillery backup. It's twenty second motorized corps. He only really has two divisions under him, so he'll get two. Two artilleries. Just a little something, something. He's got three, so he'll get three. At this point, we're getting down to the bottom of the barrel here, though. Especially for core level artillery. I mean, I would kind of like to let some of this stuff sit and not have to be used. I just I can't afford any breakthrough here. Oops. So that's what I'm trying to avoid. Just trying to avoid a breakthrough. All right, do I have any other places that really badly need a depot? Are you considered in supply? Yes, you are. You're just not getting it. The biggest problem with the Soviet army is we're just not getting what we need to where it needs to be. There's no need to have the these armies on the other side of the river, really. I don't know what I was thinking there. I'd imagine this area is going to get absolutely smacked. So let's see. Twenty seventh Army is right here. They've got a lot of rifle divisions under them. They really could use some artillery.
one of our last precious AA battalions and lock him up. How is this guy? He's really not a bad general. Well, sir, hopefully you can hold the ground. So I'm very, I'm still pissed that I can't put anything here, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna still do what my plan was. Just leave it open. And if they choose to move there, I think it's ripe for a counterattack. This year, you know, after thinking about it a lot, it really was not possible to counterattack this. Later in the war, probably would have. But at least now we're kind of in better terrain defensively. Not not great terrain, but, but better. I guess we'll put you on reserve. I do just wish I had another infantry division just to stick here. But I just I need him there. I guess I could put him on reserve. Let's see what that that buys us. All right. All right. For a save, let's spend the rest of our admin points on units. Too many units. Oh, because I have 29. We really need some AA. So let's just build six of those puppies. Too many. Oh, I can only build three. Well, let's build three. Three of those. We really just need a lot of them. What about anti tank guns? Three. All right, we'll save. What are we at for time here? Ooh. All right, I'm gonna call it here and next time we will turn the turn and see what the Germans do to us. And hopefully we'll just keep, keep falling back in good order. Probably need to do some serious sorting out in the Southern Front because it's definitely not perfect definitely not perfect in the north um, and we haven't really been tested anywhere else so I fully expect them to break through in other places too but we just we don't know where until they do it um, we've just kind of fallen back to start um, and then next turn and the turn after we should start getting reinforcements in so we'll just start flooding them up to the front and we will take no steps back, not one single step back. We'll get these guys oorahing up there and for the Redina and all that jazz. And hopefully that'll mean we hold out until winter. Because if we make this slow for them, uh, that's all we can do. But this first defense is the, the tricky one. Because it's we are the weakest we'll ever be in this entire war. Uh, our divisions have been hammered and our Air Force is obliterated. It's no longer there. Because normally what you would do in this kind of situation is you just call in airstrikes on them all day, every day. And eventually that would slow them down. But we don't have that liberty. Like, I tried to call in airstrikes on this northern area, but it just didn't do anything. I didn't have enough planes to, to actually damage them. 
So, I mean, the, when you concentrate it all in one hex and use your entire Air Force on one hex, that's the only chance you have to do anything. So that's what we did down here. Um, but there's only so many opportunities for attacks like that where it's so clear what the spearhead unit is. Because up here, I didn't, until the ground turn, I didn't actually even know about this unit, this unit, or this unit. All I saw were two units um, up at the top. So I didn't really know their composition until I scouted it. Um, so hopefully that means next time we will start making progress towards defending the Rodina. Um, but we'll find out because I, I have a bad feeling about this area too. Just looking at it. But we don't we don't want to give up these rail lines for free. We want to make them fight for it. If we can. Which is definitely debatable at this point. <laughs> well, we'll find out. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a good night.